Revelation 669. From the 15th of November 1938. Intercession for Poor Souls. Remember the poor souls always and in all places. They need your help and are still in contact with the earth until they have won through to the light. All means which you use to mature your souls are denied to them, and they are only always mindful that their sufferings are alleviated, and so they wait for the help which you humans can give them so easily through your prayer. All care for your soul will one day be supported many times over, if you only think often of the deceased, who, once in the state of light, will repay you abundantly for your trouble. Therefore, never disregard that your concern on earth apart from the earthly activity is the activity in true neighborly love and this also extends to the departed from earth. Do not let them starve, where already a thought in love, a prayer in loving remembrance gives them great relief. For power flows to innumerable beings when a loving heart turns to the Father in heaven pleading for mercy. Likewise, you should also consider how tremendously important it is when love follows the deceased. What is useful to people here on earth for their physical well-being can never bring relief in the hereafter, there, love is the only strength and fortification, and without such love, the soul is exposed to all states of suffering. Whoever has been given a long life by God, should appreciate this grace and make use of it for eternity and also often think of those who were called away to the hereafter. Life often gives people the opportunity to take care of the state of the soul, wherein the hereafter. Only the will of the beings is free. If this turns upwards, the soul is already helped very much, because then it also receives spiritual help from above, but often the soul also lacks the willpower, and then its state is pitiable. And there you must give help to people, you must try to imagine that you can help helpless beings but carelessly pass by their misery. That you only need to apply very little effort and can already make their state of suffering more bearable with it. You must never believe that your prayer could have only little influence on the situation of such souls. Where love is really the cause of a prayer for the deceased, the love also has an extraordinarily sorrow-soothing and help-giving effect on their souls. No man on earth is able to imagine the suffering of the imperfect souls in the hereafter. And the deep insight can also not be granted to them out of the wise discretion of the Creator but you humans can even imagine the most terrible situation and will still never be able to find the right measure. Therefore give your love to the deceased, and let them have your help, which you can give them, if it is your will. Only love is capable of alleviating all suffering, in heaven and on earth, and nurture this and never tire of it, because only love can bring redemption in heaven and on earth. Amen.